Okay, so here we go. We're leaving our home here in Sun Valley, Idaho and heading all the way down to San Diego, California for the Craft Brewers Conference, culminating in the World Beer Cup as well. We're gonna to talk to brewers from all over the world about Michael, about beer, and it's gonna be a great trip. I'm the event director for the Brewers Association. We're here in San Diego at the 2012 Craft Brewers Conference of Brew Expo America. It's about 4,000 brewers from around the world with a lot of exhibitors, um, all industry, and uh, we're looking to have a great week. The event tonight is our welcome reception for the Craft Brewers Conference. We're going out to the San Diego Zoo and we'll be moving around 4,000 people. I have no doubts about continued success. American craft brewers will grow to producing 10% of all beer enjoyed in the United States by the year 2017. You'll hear more about this later in the program. There are many opportunities for continued and sustainable growth. There are 4,500 of you attending this conference this year that are powerfully intelligent people. Beer is the best-selling adult beverage in the country, and that is a beautiful thing. And each person in this room is part of evolving what today is a $95.5 billion overall beer industry, literally contributing to 1.5% of our gross domestic product. I'm going to take a quick look at exports. Uh, U.S. craft brewer exports grew 86% last year to 110,000 barrels. Wow, so there's some place in America where American Congress can go, not get booed, and get a round of applause. Thanks for having me But roughly 40 years ago, as large as the American beer industry had grown, it had also grown monochromatic and homogenized in terms of beer style choices. And then a bunch of home brewers came along and we began changing all of that. BBC Radio 4's uh, food program just aired a piece on how uh, U.S. craft is influencing uh, British beer. What's the best part of being in this craft brewing community? Tim Hanna shares from Tuckahoe Brewing, the best part is just that, the community itself. Journalism's loss has been brewing industry's gain, Steve. In our community, which you have helped to build, you are definitely one of the good guys. Thank you all very much. Um, I'd like to start with the toast here. I know traditionally it comes at the end, but uh, I don't know about you, but I need a drink. <laughs> uh, the beer you have is, is Brooklyn Sriracha Ace, and. Uh, I, I regret to say that it's kind of balanced. Uh, I, I turned the TV on this morning, and I heard there were 30 people rushed to the hospital last night with hop overdoses. So I, I think this beer may be uh, the right one for this moment. Thanks, Sam. So I'd like to toast, I, I see uh, Paul dated the beginning of the craft brewing industry in 1965. 
So let's toast the first 47 years of craft beer and the next 47 years of craft beer and uh, a special tribute to Michael Jackson. Cheers. Cheers. I can congratulate you all on your success and I wish you, all you fledgling craft brewers, the best in your new ventures. I'd like you to wear the brewer's hat with pride and make us all proud. Expo America Trade Show is now open. Have a great conference. <laughs> Greg Cook, CEO and co-founder of the Stone Brewing Company and Stone Brewing World Bistro and Gardens. And we're here at the beautiful Town & Country Resort in San Diego, California for the 2012 Craft Brewers Conference. Cheers. And also, I think actually, maybe even more importantly, I'm here to share some words, some thoughts, and maybe even a story about uh, somebody who's very important to all of us, uh, Michael Jackson. Um, I, uh, I, like many folks, uh, had some of my very first uh, beer experiences. No, I'm not talking about just the generic beer experience, but you know, understanding that beer was more what it could be, the world of beer, the depth of beer that was out there, at the hand of Michael Jackson and his work. I think a lot of people don't realize exactly how important Michael was to everything that's happening here today at the, at the Craft Brewers Conference. I mean, basically, I'm sure that we would have a craft brewing industry uh, if Michael hadn't been here. I think it would look really, really different. Um, and I don't think it would be nearly as rich, uh, nearly as big, or not nearly as much fun. It's been a few years since Michael passed and I think there's a lot of us that, that wish he was here today. The success of craft brewing is, is through the moon right now and I don't think any of us could have sat down and had a pint with Michael um, even in his last days and, and sort of posited that what we were doing and what we were a part of and what he'd been a part of was going to lead up to this. I think people don't know how huge uh, his influence was. I mean here's one example. Everything that we do here at World Beer Cup is based on the idea of beer styles. Michael invented 
the idea of the Earth style. Uh, you know, it's kind of, I'm, I'm actually, yeah, I, I got goosebumps. You know, that's, that's the kind of uh, visceral reaction I have when I think about Michael um, and his importance and, and his relevance uh, to this wonderful world of beer that we're in. He always brought whatever was going on about beer back to people. And I think that, you know, if there's anything we can really learn from, uh, from what he was trying to tell us, is that beer is people, beer is about people. And that's part of life. Sometimes you don't get to meet your mentors, or sometimes you don't get to meet your heroes. But at the end of it, there's still people that laid that foundation. And so even though you're not here today, Michael, I think that we all celebrate and we toast your life. So cheers to what you helped us accomplish, cheers to what we're going to accomplish, and specifically to the people beyond us that are coming down the road. Make sure you understand what this man meant to craft beer. I'd like to offer up a, a, a toast uh, to Michael. Um. Cheers, Michael. Cheers. Cheers, Michael! That's, that's what we think about Michael. Cheers, Michael, and thanks, buddy. Thank you.